Okay, now we're going to look at a pension question in financial maths using a geometric um, series to solve it. So, the question is this. How much money is needed to provide a pension payment of 25,000 per year for 25 years at 4% AER? So traditionally, uh, a question students find difficult. So let's try and do it in as many steps again as possible and see can we build it up to the geometric uh, series to solve. So essentially what I want you to think about is this way. You retire, you need year one. So the very first day you retire, let's say you retire on the 1st of January. You're going to need 25,000 sitting there. You're going to take that out of your fund. Now your fund's going to be depleted by that much. And the following year then, from around to the 1st of January again and you're going to take out another 25,000 and so on this is going to go on so your funds are going to deplete but that fund that's sitting there is going to constantly be earning a yearly interest rate of 4% okay so what we're going to think about is how much money is this going to cost me to have all these bundles of money in here well on the first day, I take 25,000, I need 25, this needs to be in there straight away. But now, the bundle, the total fund is, go is going to be depleted by 25,000, but the remaining amount is going to be sitting there earning interest. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about each of these individual packets of money again, just like in the previous example for installment savings. So let's take this one here. How much do I need in my bank now? To make sure there's 25,000 there in one year's time at 4%. Well, looking at the compound interest formula, which is this, I need the final value of this in one year's time to be 25,000. Okay? I don't know, I want to figure out what I'm putting in there now, but I know it's going to earn interest at 1.04 for one year. So actually, the amount of money I need in there now to for this is solving for p on its own goes to 25,000 over 1.04 to the 1 and what about the next piece of money or the next packet well this is also going to have to have a final value of 25,000 but that's going to be in there waiting for me for two years so the present value now I need to put in to ensure I have 25,000 in two years is going to rearrange to this. 25,000 over 1.04 squared. So what I'd hope you'd see now is that every single one is going to constantly go up like this. So we're going to have the next one. Payment is going to be 25,000. And that's going to be over 1.04 cubed. And so we're going to have all these different payments. So if this was the first payment, this would be the second payment here. So we could say this is the first payment. Okay. This is the second payment. Yeah. And so on. This is the third payment, the fourth payment. Now notice as I said it's the second payment has a one. The third payment has a two. How many payments are there? Well, it's yearly payments for 25 years. There's going to be 25 payments. But the final payment is going to look like this. What needs to be in there is going to have 25,000 over 1.04 to the 24. Not 25. Why? Well, because if I start my money at the start of the year, I take out the first payment on the 1st January. Well, when 25 years passes, I'll be at the end of the final year. And at the start of it, only is it, the start of the final year is in 24 years' time, if you like to think of it that way. But we still are going to have 25 terms. This, 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 and all, all the up to this. So all these terms are going to be added. That makes it a geometric uh, series. Now, let's write out some of these terms. So what do we actually have? So we have the total fund needed. It's going to be like this. It's going to be the first 25,000. Plus the second payment, which we know has a present value now of this much. And the next payment, which has a present value now of this much. 
all the way up to the final payment, which has a present value now of this. Okay, or oh, sorry, 24. Okay, so this is what I have. I have 25 terms, and they are separate by what? Is there a ratio here? There is. What do I multiply this by to get this term here? Well, that's a multiplication of 1 over 1.04. To get to this term, that's also a multiplication of 1 over 1.04. And they're actually, they all are separated because that's by 1 over 1.04. 0 0.04 because that brings up the square or the cube and so on and so on but 25,000 on top never changes so we actually do have this common ratio here now what's our first term well our first term is a and that is 25,000 our common ratio being 1 over 1.04 and how many terms do we have we do have 25 terms even though this only goes up to 24 it doesn't matter the second one is one, the third one goes to two, so the, the first term is here, okay? Now let's think of our, this is a geometric series, so let's think of the geometric series formula. That is Sn, A, given to you in your log book, don't forget, one minus R. And we can fill in all this information with what we have here. So we're looking for an S of 25. And we have a first term of 25,000. We have 1 minus a ratio of 1 over 1.04 to the 25 all over 1 minus 1 over 1.04. So maybe you should definitely try this while you're doing a pause the video and try and put this into your calculator and let's see if we get the same answer. So S of 25 equals to, so I'm going to put this in, 25,000 times 1 minus and then 1 over 1.04, oops, minus to the power of 25, and I close my brackets. And that is 1 minus 1 over 1.04, and equals, and I get this. 4.06174.0 oh, um, if I go to this in place. So it turns out that even though I'm taking out 25,000 for 25 years, which should be 625,000 needed, I don't actually need that because of the interest accruing all the time. I ju just actually need to have 406,174.08 ready to go. That'll give me 25,000 a year. For 25 years and you often find this is the last part of a financial financial maths questions hopefully that was enough to understand